Hola, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo estáis? Bien. Here we are on the last of the verb series for verb building in Spanish and the last in this whole vocabulary series. So, if you've made your way through these, congratulations, felicidades. It is un crack. No, oh, you're an expert. Okay, so here, let's finish our last few uh, verbs. The first verb is to bring, to bring. Okay, and that verb is traer, traer. Right, so, how are you going to remember that is the verb looks like trade, isn't it? And so you can imagine a waiter bringing something on a tray to you. Traer. Okay, so that's how you remember it. The waiter brings something on a tray. El camarero trae algo. Mm -hmm. Traer. Okay, next one is to come. To come. Okay, and that word is venir. Venir. Okay, so just imagine that Ben, somebody who you know called Ben, everybody knows a Ben, even if it's a dog. Ben comes here every day. Ben comes here every day. And for some reason I've got an image of a golden Labrador called Ben who comes here every day. Okay. Next one is the verb to watch or to see. And that one is ver. Ver. Okay. So that's nice and easy. You're watching the television and you see lots of bears on the television. Always bears, okay? Not bear people. Bears. Okay. So you see on the television bears. Bear. Okay. Next one is to travel. To travel. By any means. And that verb is viajar. Viajar. So can you see it starts with via, yeah, or via, which means by way of, yeah? So, and car, car. So you can imagine I'm going to travel via car, via car, okay? By way of car, via car. Via car is how you pronounce it. It's got that strong J, okay? Next one is to live. To live, yeah? And this verb is vivir. Vivir. <laughs> so many people get this mixed up with to drink. Okay? And um, many times people have said to me, Yo vivo en un bar. Okay? And they want to say, I drink in a bar. And they've actually said, I live in a bar. Which is probably a bit true, actually. Okay, so, vivir is to live, and you've heard this so many times. Um, who hasn't heard, viva Las Vegas, long live Las Vegas, Las Vegas. And, um, viva España, viva la France, la France, le France, I don't know. So, it's, it's this word is in, across many countries, eh? So, vivir is to live to live. And then finally, volver is to return, volver, to return. And volver sounds like the car, Volvo. I think it's pretty international or multinational type of vehicle, Volvo. So imagine that you're returning, returning home in a Volvo, volver. I'm going to return home in my Volvo, Volver. Okay, and uh, has anyone seen the excellent film by uh, Pedro Almodóvar called Volver? And that means to come back with uh, Penelope Cruz. Good film. Okay, so now let's check you out. Okay, vamos a repasar estos verbos. So, traer, traer. To bring on a tray, to bring, the way to bring something on a tray. Venir, venir. 
golden Labrador dog called Ben, who comes here every day. So Ben here is to come, to come. Bear, bear. Watching on the TV, some bears. Yeah, one of these nature programs. Bears eating fish, salmon. Um, now, what about this one? Biachar, biachar. So I'm going to travel via car. Yeah, viajar, to travel. Next one, vivir, vivir. Viva Las Vegas. Vivir is to live. Long live Las Vegas. And then the last one, volver, volver. Volver, to come, to come back in. A Volvo. Volver is to return. Okay. Bueno, chicos, ya hemos terminado todo. We finished everything. Isn't that fantastic? Now, what does that mean for you? Well, that means that if you wanted to, you could begin to read Victor's Adventures in Spain, Las Aventuras de Victor en España, and you would have a vast block of nouns, adjectives and verbs. So as you read the Spanish, you will understand the vast majority of what you're reading. How fabulous is that? But not only that, it isn't just to help you, we haven't done this, just to help you read Victor's uh, adventures, but also now, if you, if you work on these words and work to impress them into your mind and to make them stick and all you need to do to make them stick is just repeat a few more times go through them and just learn them so that you can then start to use them in your spoken spanish and really that's the key the key is not just to have these words here like a dictionary in your mind the key is now to start to use them to start to learn how to break these verbs down starting to make sentences this is where you've got to go next, okay? So, we are willing to help you here at Lightspeed Spanish with anything like that. So whatever you want to do, we'll be here to support you. We'll keep adding information, we'll keep adding lessons, we'll keep adding native speakers, we'll keep adding such a lot so that you can take your Spanish to light speed, okay? And you can end up speaking fantastically well, and you will. If you just keep going. Entonces, muchísimas gracias por mm, haber pasado no sé cuánto tiempo conmigo y nos vemos pronto. Hasta luego y buena suerte con vuestros estudios. Hasta luego. <música>